really going to be able to get somebody up here? Well, of course, man. We're coming up to you. Well, there's no one here yet, and the floor is completely engulfed. We're on the floor, and we can't breathe. Okay. And it's very, very, very hot. Okay. All I see is smoke. Oh, please. I'm going to die, aren't I? No, 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 no. Say your... I'm going to die. Ma'am, 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 say your prayers. And we're not going to die. We're going to think positive because you got to help each other get off the floor. I'm now, gonna die. No, it's gonna so die. hot. I'm burning up. Hello? Hello, ma'am. Osama bin Laden is the world's most wanted terrorist. Many to fight. place of bin Laden's terrorist organization, Al-Qaeda, making him arguably the most wanted man in the world. Punish. 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 I want justice. And uh, uh, there's an old poster out west, as I recall, that said, wanted, dead or alive. If you go to the FBI website, they've got Osama bin Laden. And if you go to Osama bin Laden's webpage on the FBI most wanted terrorist list, you'll find that he's been indicted for the 1998 attacks, but not for 9-11. And in fact, a number of journalists called up the FBI and said, well, look, why have you not connected bin Laden to 9-11? And they said, well, I'm afraid we just don't have the evidence. And that's just the beginning. September 11, 2001, I was employed by a company called Eurobrokers, and our offices were on the 84th floor of the South Tower, which was the second building to be hit that day with an airplane. And I was working away at my computer, and at 8.46 in the morning, there was this loud boom. At 8.46 and 40 seconds, American Airlines Flight 11 hits the North Tower of the World Trade Center, causing extensive damage between the 93rd and the 99th floors. from the, the Port Authority came, your attention please, Building 2, our building, Building 2 is secure. There is no need to evacuate Building 2. And two or three minutes later, I started talking with one fellow named Bobby Call. And Bobby told me that he had been down about eight floors, ten floors, heard the announcement, and had come back up. And as he was telling me this, boom, boom, this double explosion and our building shook. At 9.03 a.m., United Airlines Flight 175 hits the South Tower. <laughs> 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 
everything just exploded in our room. Now we're on the 84th floor. What I didn't know at the time was that the second plane had hit six floors below us on the 78th floor. So we're six floors above impact. I heard this banging on the wall and this faint scream for help inside the 81st floor. I hooked underneath him and I pulled him up. He said that later that I was like Superman. And we came up and over and fell. Me, I fell back down on my back. And this stranger landed on top of me and he gave me this big kiss. We got up, dusted ourselves off. Um, and, and I said, come on, let's go home. The two towers shake considerably with the first impact, but they immediately return to their original structural position. Why? Because they were specifically designed to do this in the event of a plane crash. The towers were very uh, solidly built. Uh, it's like a tree. You see, when you bend a tree, you have all these fibers in the tree, but they're interconnected. So when the tree bends, it can, abs it can handle that motion. Nevertheless, 56 minutes after Flight 175 strikes the South Tower, it suddenly collapses in on itself. Trade Center, the tower that we just come out of, we started to see it, you know, boom, 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 move. And we stared in disbelief as this took about eight or ten seconds for the whole tower just to go straight down and dissolved into its own ash. We started to go in, and all of a sudden, there were people jumping from the towers. One jumped down and hit a fireman. At 10.28, the North Tower also collapses. I threw away my oxygen mask to make me lighter. I started running because when I turned around, I saw the tower coming down. Then there was all this dust that got me. When I got home, all my family was waiting for me. And I was lucky to come back to my family. All my friends, they never came back. The official justification for the inexplicable collapse of the Twin Towers was written by the National Institute of Standards and Technology. Between 2002 and 2006, they studied the demolition of the World Trade Center, reaching the conclusion that the collapse of the towers was caused by the combined effects of the impact of the airplanes and the resulting fires started by these impacts. We have been told by the very people who designed and built these towers that they should have resisted the impact of more than one airplane. We have to ask ourselves, did the engineers and architects imagine that airplanes could crash into the towers without any fuel? Perhaps they thought that the airplanes could get there by just blowing in the breeze. Never before 
or after 9-11 have steel frame towers collapsed due to fire. In 2005, there was a fearsome conflagration in Madrid. A skyscraper went up in flames. It was a huge torch that kept burning for 20 hours, 20 consecutive hours. But in the end, the load-bearing structure remained intact. The skyscraper did not fall down. As you can see, the building is enveloped in flames. This skyscraper was not yet complete. It was still under construction. Nevertheless, it remained standing. Something you should note is the white color of the flames. This means that there is a lot of oxygen burning. If you look at the flames coming from the two towers in New York, we can see instead that the flames are dark red and the smoke is black. The fires that were burning in these towers was a dark gray, a heavy, almost black gray smoke coming off. This implies a, an oxygen-starved fire. Nevertheless, 55 minutes later, the whole tower collapses. According to the official NIST version of events, at a certain point, the steel structure of the towers gave way. It no longer had the structural strength that it had at the beginning. And all of this was supposed to be because of the immense heat. And here is something difficult to explain. We know that at some point certain people managed to walk down from the top of this tower and crossed the point where the fire was strongest. Somehow they reached the bottom of the tower. How did they manage to do that? I don't know. I, I, when I looked down there, I didn't see flames. I just sensed that it was the right thing to go and try and test it. We would go as far as we could until we were stopped by flames. And when we came to the 78th floor, the, the last layer was standing, but it was cracked. And there were flames licking up the other side of the wall like this. It wasn't a roaring inferno. I, I sensed that the flames were maybe starved for oxygen right there, you know, in the interior. We kept going, and we got onto the 74th floor when we got down that far. Normal conditions. The lights were on, fresh air coming up from below. So the temperature inside the building was not particularly high, as we can see from the presence of this woman, who is standing at the precise point where the plane impacted. In order to verify the way the buildings collapsed and how the heat had affected the steel, NIST commissioned numerous tests, some of which were conducted by a company called Underwriters Labs. And uh, Kevin Ryan, he's the uh, former employee from Underwriters Laboratories who um, challenged the NIST report and he went public with it. Within a week, he was fired from his job. We did test the floor models in August of 2004. And those tests disproved the primary theory behind the collapse of the buildings. It was, it was called the pancake theory. The floors would collapse upon each other into a stack of pancakes, and then the columns were no longer supported, and the columns would fall apart. Well, the floor models didn't collapse in the tests, and they were, these were in furnaces, you know, f testing furnaces, much hotter temperature, longer periods of time. They still didn't collapse. 